Yo, it's Tang. Welcome back. Let's clock in. <sighs> Last chapter here. Let's see. Just got into an awkward situation. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Chloe stays. Okay. Let's see. Let's hear this. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Mm hmm Your birth mother. Now we get to the juicy part. Is it, we're moving? I tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? We'll, uh, we'll find out. Chloe. You can handle this. I guess be a good friend, right? I'm here. Or I'm right here. Good. I need you. Let's look at this fuel finder here and uh Let's take a look at this. See how this is going to go. We're not we're not gonna see something spooky, are we? Got the ambiance. Okay, this let's take a look. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. And is that her? Teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. She was one of that girl. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. So then we go to this courtship. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. She was looking for an escape. Is that kind of something Rachel's doing currently doing right now? When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but that looks look looks I'm a little creepy blind. though. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. He just wants to do drugs. I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. She was one of those. That I see. No matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. Was wrong. 
eventually I saw her for who she really was. Over here, ODing herself? Destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. That's crazy that there's some people out there who's actually like that. That's crazy as hell. Reunion. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel. It was true. We kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss. Goodbye. A final goodbye. Her. And I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. And I have a different view of her dad. Sounds like her dad's honestly a, a good man. Just looking out for her. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now... She yes. wants to see me? But Rachel, it cannot be. Who says it's your decision? Why not? Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone. Not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <laughs> Rachel. Got a valid point right there. I think I need to lie down. That's a valid, valid point. For 15 years, her mother chosen money over seeing you. Yeah. I mean, this is the last chapter, which means it's going to be a lot of the hell oh okay i i can't leave rachel to deal with this alone well let's read this group text message first and um okay we have all these okay rachel and chloe where are you guys we're at the tempest cast party I already texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't, but you totally saved us. Without you, there, there been, there would been. Without you, there would have been no show. 
seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Seriously, guys. I mean, at the end of the day, Rachel went to that party, right? And then she was gone. This is probably where it's going to... This is most likely where it's going to lead up to. All right. Let's talk to Rachel. See what her decision is. Obviously, she went... Are we going to leave? We, we went, she went to the party. So I don't know if we're actually going to leave or not, but... Damn. I don't know how... If, if I was Rachel and my mother's like that, I, I, I don't know what to... Like... What to say? Like... <laughs> Would I, would I meet my mom? Maybe she's that? Most likely not. Hell no, I'm not. So this is... Let's travel. I'm so happy. Rachel? Episode 3. Hell is empty. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Emergency kit duffel bag. Speak. Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here, Chloe. Of course. Okay, obviously, turn on. This light needs more light. Yeah, you need to turn off that light to turn on that light, right? Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. You need something to brighten up that night light, okay. Here, cork board. Probably inside this emergency kit, yeah. It's so how we're gonna we're gonna put the flashlight. We're gonna shine on the thing. Is is that how it's gonna work? As we're do as we're going like through all her stuff, she just landed. there. She doesn't think like anything like what the hell like like if i were laying in my room and then someone's just going through my room i'd be like what the hell are you doing <laughs> you can put on up it's side right oh i mean really does it really i don't think it really does that does it like, ironically, those two fit. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Yo, check this hey. lights out. Check it out. It's I mean, that's beautiful. That's I pretty cool. You might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Guess I had a hunch. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all lies. Still beautiful. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then 
What's the point? <sighs> it's all lies. Everything. <laughs> My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman? My real mom? She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I mean, I can't even trust myself. Did we even lie to her or anything? I don't think so. I don't think we lied to her or anything. Not that I could think of. We were being pretty honest. We were being pretty honest. Like, pretty honest as in terms of, like, how I would, like, how I feel, how I would play the game, my decision. I guess I'm honored. But if you think about that, that that's, that's really kind of messed up, though, if you really think about it. Like, really, though, like, the whole time, so... That's not really your mother the whole time, but you think it's your mother. That's that's a little messed up, but I'll take it, even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. You gotta make sure the conversation is over before I leave. But I think it's time to get up. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here. For me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? I mean, think about it. James, I mean, that's her dad name, says she's just not a good person. Also, Frank also mentioned that she is like a trouble too. No, I'm gonna be firm with her because think about it, Frank. Frank said that like she's too, like we were like who is she? Like, she is just freaking trouble. Of course not. But it it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. Who's that? Me? But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Is this where I have to do the work? Like, I'd be, like, confronting him, telling him all this. I got this. I got an idea. Let's go with I've got an idea. It's going to be me confronting. I think I know what to do. Oh, nope. Frank. I'll call Frank and... Get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Okay, now what I had in mind? Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. We're gonna fix up that truck, and then we're gonna go for a ride. That's, that's the plan. I got one too. Which one? I've got one too. I got one too. Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. Our truck. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But 
but it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams, he's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. I mean, we still got Frank his money, too. All this going on in like one day. It's crazy. Now what what is this now? What is this? In the play? Oh lord. We even got the crow joining. Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. The heck? A flash of David? Or my memories? Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? Just send it like. You know how, how tired your arm would be just like this? Pop the hood. Is this basically teaching you like how to fix your car and you kind of remember how to fix your truck right here? see anything? Nothing here. Here it is, I guess. Let's go. Here it is. Fine. It's the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes, and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. The world, a stage. Sound and fairy. I don't know what William, I don't know what William says, Shakespeare says, but I'll just say it sounds like maybe this. Something about the whole world being a stage. So might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, 
Maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Oh my lord, what's Dad? that? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Dad! Damn, that's a little too. We see this multiple, multiple times throughout this game. 